He's walking in the right direction away from us and this is going into a coned area. Oh my days. Whoa, 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 whoa. This white Peugeot here, what is he doing? What are you doing? Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today I have come all the way out here to Hemel Hempstead to look at this, which is apparently the magic roundabout but another version. So in Swindon, we have this roundabout that basically you can go the wrong way round, the big roundabout in the center, and then you go the right way round, the little roundabouts on the outside. So it's really, really strange because there's so many roundabouts in one place. And what I wanna do is I'm just going the wrong way around the whole roundabout here to show you. We've got little roundabouts like this, like this, and then we've got this big roundabout here on the left. And this is something that somehow, someday, a self-driving car is gonna have to figure out. It's gonna know, or it's gonna have to be able to know to go the wrong way around a roundabout like this, which is what I'm doing right now. And I've gotta say, it feels very, very strange. Um, and then it's also gotta to know to come off at the right places and go the right way around the other roundabouts, if that makes sense. So there we go, we've just completed a whole lap there of the roundabout. I'm not sure who's going, so I'm gonna commit. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty hectic, it's pretty scary, but I've got to say that roundabout there is actually a little bit nicer than the Swindon Magic roundabout, which I will be trying at a different time and I will be actually trying autopilot on it. There was no way back there that autopilot would have done anything on those roundabouts, so it just it really wasn't worth me trying uh, or doing anything. But what we're going to be looking at today is how it works here in Hemel Hempstead. We're going to do a little bit of city driving. This is 16.2, so 2020.16.2.1, uh, which is the newer software update and I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see some humans with their legs walking on the screen because that's uh, that's come out in this new update so currently it seems to be following the Tesco delivery truck into this left uh, sorry to the right lane which is fine we are going straight on but obviously we should be really in the left lane the lights here are being picked up nicely again it did oh it is showing those orange lights which was good so it is showing orange lights and I think, I actually think it showed the arrow there within the light. If you can zoom in and have a look at that again, it might have actually shown that, which is pretty cool. So this is saying to get into the left lane. Now, even though this is a closed off dual carriageway, it sadly is still not doing the lane changes in this update. So I have to pull it off myself and do the lane change like that, uh, which is annoying because you can see that it knows that it's a, it knows that it's a dual carriageway and there's two roads here, but hey ho. And then as we come up here to this, is this a roundabout? Yes, it is. Let's see how it does. No, it wasn't. It was just going, it was just going that way, which obviously we don't want it to do because we want to flow up here. Okay, so this is going to turn on navigate on autopilot, and we've got some pretty interesting roads up ahead. Let's put it onto the speed limit and let the car do its thing. Oh, a little bit wonky there. It wasn't sure. I think because of the width of the lane, it actually thought that there was a it was a line in the middle. Confirm lane change to follow route. Confirm lane change. But it's got it just forced itself over. Oh, it swang out a little bit there. But that actually did that pretty well. Let's go up to the speed limit. And it's asking us to change lanes. So let's change lanes. And it's doing that really nicely. Sorry if I'm a little bit nasally. Uh, I've got bad hay fever, so yeah, that's the problem. And here we go, on our way. So yeah, the roundabout situation here in the UK. Elon said that the roundabouts are easy. It's unpredictable cars or other, other drivers, basically, that aren't easy to read. But I'm sorry, Elon, I, I don't think it's gonna be able to figure out either the magic roundabout or that roundabout there where there's six roundabouts around. No, sorry, is it, it's five roundabouts around one big roundabout going the wrong way. So, so confusing, but it works, you know? The system does work and the roundabouts do work. So if the car can figure it out, that will be absolutely great. So on my drive up here, um, I didn't just come to see this roundabout, by the way. I dropped my brother off who is buying a new car. Sadly, it's not electric. Sadly, it's not Tesla, uh, but it was a nice car. Uh, so on the drive up here, we did have a couple of issues and the issues mainly were with lorries again. It was trying to get into the lane with lorries. It really struggled with and didn't like. God, that looks a wonky trailer. I'm hoping that's just like, whoa, whoa, what is that doing? That doesn't look too safe, highway maintenance. Yeah, that doesn't look too safe at all. Interestingly, again, there's no trailers on here being shown yet. That would be a really nice update to have. Uh, so it shows like the trailers or I don't know, something else on the back. Because sometimes I'm worried that it doesn't see it at all and it might, you know, go closer thinking there's not actually a trailer there. So again, we'll do another lane change here. Shouldn't be any problems. 
I did that really nice and smoothly. Now, we should be in the right-hand lane, but I'm waiting for the car to slow us down and move lanes. But so far, it's not. It is asking us to, so I will move it over. But even though we're on the slowing down strips, the car is still going at full 70 miles an hour here. Oh, there we go. It did start actually pulling itself down. And now it's come off navigate on autopilot. Still slowing itself down. Still slowing itself down. Really hard braking there. And yeah, I'm going to have to obviously pull it off. So it wasn't actually coming. That's awesome. That is really cool. Um, it obviously wasn't pulling itself all the way down. It wasn't act, uh, reacting to the traffic lights or anything like that yet. But it was slowing itself down a little bit. Okay, back on. Oh, is this still a roundabout? Let's see if it changes the lane here. I'm assuming it will follow the lane round. Yeah, yep, yeah, still following it. Still following the lane round. This is really good. This is doing it really well. Doing it really well. Go on, car. Go on, car. Okay, it's decided to take this lane. I guess we're going for the overtake. And I'll bring it up to the full speed limit. Well, that worked really well. I'm not sure why it's not accelerating very quickly here, but... It's not accelerating very quickly at all. You can see we're going like 40 miles an hour for some reason. I think it was slightly worried because of this lorry in front of us. Um, yeah, and as you can see, as we go past the lorry, it's starting to bring us up to speed quite a lot quicker, uh, which, is, which is a good thing. So here we go, back onto the motorway. And we'll see what the car asks us to do. It's not asking me to change lane or anything like that. And now I'm changing lanes for it completely safe but wow it really flings you it flings you into the lane um on those kind of junctions still it doesn't do it smoothly at all and it needs to it definitely needs to sort that out because it's just flinging us across the lane which i'm not not too happy about it doesn't it doesn't feel very good at all we're going to be coming off in a mile now and uh, i just want to apologize it's so bright that it's sometimes quite hard to see this screen it's quite hard to get it to film and be able to see the outside and the screen um so yeah i'm going to try and get the car tinted as soon as possible and then obviously once i get it tinted uh you'll hopefully be able to see the screen a lot better so we need to get into this left lane like pretty soon if i'm being totally honest we've got half a mile uh so we really need to start getting into this lane but it's not actually asking us to so i'm a little bit worried it says now upcoming lane change. So actually, let's see if it'll slow down behind this uh, pickup truck. And will it go over? No, look at that, it actually, it didn't do it then. Let's try it again. There we go, now it's doing it. Fitting into that space very nicely. Just gonna thank the car behind us. Um, yeah, so weirdly there, it left it quite late until the 0.4 of a mile. Then it actually nagged us to say, hey, you're in the wrong lane. So that was a little bit, a little bit later than I would have liked it to be. Now let's see how it deals with this. So I think we come off here and it splits into two lanes, and you can see that it's followed this, this lane rather than going over to the left, which is fine because this is the actual correct lane that we need to be in. And then as it comes off here, you can see it's slowing us down to 55. Interesting, as we came into a 50, but I don't think it was because of the speed limit. And yeah, it's in the correct lane here. Again, going round, slowing us down now to 45. Now, personally, 45 is a little bit too slow for this corner. Um, you can see everyone else is kind of pulling away, bringing us back up to 50 now. So that worked quite well. Oh, and by the way, if you see a speed limit like that, that's not a real speed limit. That's just advice. I've seen people commenting. If you see that, it's not. you don't have to follow that speed limit, just so you know. Uh, okay, right. Again, slowing down, but 45. Yeah, slowing us right down here for this corner, which it really is in a tight corner. Wow. Four, yeah, this is way too slow. Way, way, way too slow. And now it's bringing us back up again. Oh, he's got flat. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, let's see how it's going to deal with this then. Again, I'm not touching anything to do with the controls. I'm not going to speed it up. I'm just going to let it do it itself. Starting to speed us up here to 55. And then oddly, it wants me to go into the left lane, but I definitely want to go into this right lane here. Uh, so we're in the right lane now, which worked well. And now we are stuck in the traffic. So I need to bring it down. Now, apparently, um, I did read somewhere that it's now got speed sign recognition built in. Um, or at least it, it's got it there in the manual to mention it. But trust me, it's, it's definitely not working. It's definitely not doing it. Uh, so it might say that it's there or something, but it's, it's definitely not. It's, it's not working yet. Which is a shame because, again, that's something big that uh, would change and make a, a lot of difference for us. So this is a construction zone. And obviously we're going 50 in the construction zone. Asking us to go left. 
to go into the left lane, but the left lane is actually diverting us off to the A4. So we definitely don't want to follow what it's asking us to do to go into that left lane there. And you can see it's picking up all the cones here on the right hand side nicely. Not picking any up on the left there over the back barrier. Let's see if we do a lane change here to the right. Car goes to fill in the gap nicely. And that was actually a fairly tight gap. That was a fairly tight gap. And we're gonna go into the third lane here because we're going very slow. And now we're in our own, own lane, which is nice. So the car's asking us to go into the left lane, even though it knows that we can't because of the lorry to like behind and left of us, it's saying we can't. But again, if I actually tried now to go into that left lane, it would 100% fail and it'd be very embarrassing. So I'm not gonna do it. It will 100% fail because it, it just will not, it will not go next to that lorry. If you try and do it, it won't go because you've got to get so close because the lanes are so tight. Uh, it will try and go to it and then it will start swinging out again. However, now we're in the gap of two lorries. I have some confidence that it might actually work here. So let's give it a quick whirl. And there you go. So the gap between the two lorries, no problem at all. But yeah, definitely still a problem navigating into a lane when there's a lorry in an adjacent lane. Some people say don't do it for safety reasons and stuff, but you know, some sometimes you do and yeah, it should, it should at least be able to do it. So we've got this lorry here who is coming out no matter what. And the car kind of slowed down for it and actually indicated and changed lanes a lot quicker than sometimes it normally does. Again, we're tight up here to the lorry, but the car's, the car's doing it really well. And, oh, we're braking, braking. What's going on here? What is going on here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I have not a clue at what is going on. We've all slowed right down. Whoa, 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 what is that car doing? My gosh, what is going on? He, I swear he was just gonna go to the side of him. What is, I don't know. I think there's something wrong with this car in front of us, guys. I think there's something wrong with him. Oh, I don't know. That was very strange. Very, very, very strange. He's like all over the place. Look, he's in like two lanes. Going for a lane change. This van has just come in front. This, this white Peugeot here, what is he doing? What are you doing? Mate, what is that person doing? Not a clue but he is causing problems. I'm thinking he's on his phone. He's all over the place. I'm looking in my mirror and he's held up all those people back there and he's all over the place. Whoa, look at this. So the car, oh wow, the car was braking from here. So you can see this lorry is just stopped in our lane and the car reacted to that so early on. That was actually really, really good to see. Um, I wasn't 100% sure if that, if that lorry was moving or what it was doing, but these guys all obviously moved over. And as the lane opened up, the car saw from, I don't know, a good 100 meters away that that car was stopped and it actually slammed on. It braked very, very hard there, um, which, was, which was really good to see. So I'm gonna try and navigate into this lane behind this lorry, and that worked really nicely. Uh, it's only because we've got some BMWs kind of racing past us in a second, so I thought I'd get out of the way in case they were undercover popo but they're not it's just someone that wants to get a speed ticket yes it is let's see how it reacts to this so the lines have disappeared and they've gone to these kind of like green bobbly lines and the car has followed them really really nicely we've got some cones here pushing us across the lines disappear so let's see how the car deals with this you can see all the cones appearing it's asking us to change lanes but we don't need to we'll just stay in this lane and look at that, even though all the lines disappeared and we had some kind of semi-visible green dots on the road to guide us, the car did it really smoothly with no problems at all. It is asking us to move lanes to get away from the cones, but there are, that's not a problem now. Okay, so how's it gonna deal with this lorry here, whether it's going to push past it or just sit behind it? It's getting very close to our line. You'll see as soon as it touches our, our line, the car will break. Here we go, look, oh my God. Uh, yeah, okay, we're still going past, we're still going past. And this is going into a coned area. Oh my days, this is very tight. Jesus, I'm pulling off, but he's coming over to my lane. Mate, get into the first lane. Why are you even over in this lane? 
There's no, there's no one in the first lane. I don't get why he's sat in the, the, the thinner lane. Interestingly, did you see that? Wow, okay, so that cone back there was actually fallen over and it showed it in here fallen over. It like switched it to up and down, but it officially shows cones that have fallen over. That is so, so cool. So, so simple, like, um, like you know so simple but it's such a such a cool thing to actually see so we're actually coming off in 1.2 miles so we need to start getting ourselves over to that left lane uh gonna indicate across now and see how this moves us across very nice and smoothly there and it's not asking us to get in the left lane okay now it's asking us to get in the left lane uh but it's seen the b and q lorry so i think it's saying that we should be able to get past the b and q lorry and then we'll go back into that lane so yeah, it's still not bugging. Now it's saying that there is a change coming. So it's at 0.7 miles away, it starts to say, hey, you should really start getting into that lane. And that worked really well following this van as well. So we're gonna let it do as much as it can going into here as we get to the supercharger. And I'm also gonna perch up just in front of some people where they're walking so that I can show you guys the walking animation on here a little bit clearer because it's actually really cool to see when it works. Sometimes it doesn't and they're walking backwards and moonwalking and doing some funny, funny stuff. But when it works really well, it looks absolutely great. So we're turning off here and look at that, the car's doing it really nicely. Oh, a little bit choppy little bit choppy bringing us down to 40 35 back up to 40 back down to 35 <laughs> uh, and then the services are off here to the left so we'll let the car do as much of it as it can uh, keeping it down to 20 miles an hour through here and we'll see where the car wants to take us and straight on it looks like I'm not actually sure where the superchargers are oh they're over there to the right so the car's just gonna probably drive us uh, straight until the end of this road. I'm gonna see if it will turn us because it should be able to take us actually the whole way round here. Let's see it navigate around this. Yeah, it's going around it nicely. Oh, it's aborting, it's aborting. Interesting, I don't know why it decided to abort there because it had good lines, there was good visibility, no problems about, uh, but it decided for some reason it needed to abort there, which is a shame. Uh, okay, so we're gonna be going across here. This lady didn't didn't look, but you know, it's fine. There you go, look, the walking animation. It showed her walking the correct way, which was really, really cool. And now I need to turn up here and charge the car. I'm just gonna take this around the car park one more time in the hope that people like this are gonna walk in front. And look at that clear as day, walking in the right direction. It's so cool to see. Again, so simple, but so, so cool to see. I just pulled up behind this guy here and I'm gonna see if the car will pick him up. There we go, look at that. He's walking in the right direction away from us. And as I drive past him, look at that. He is walking correctly away. So, so cool. It's also picked up the arrow on the road there and it's picked up the line for us to go up to and then stop at. And it sadly, again, it won't stop just yet by itself, uh, but at least it's showing that it knows the lines there. Now, this is also really exciting, guys. Here in the UK, we hardly have any stop signs, or at least here in Wiltshire, we have none. But there's one right here. Really, really happy to see it. Is it gonna pick it up? Yes, it has picked it up. It's got the stop on the road as well, and it's got the line. So I better come to a complete stop. There we go. And we can continue again. I, I really shouldn't get excited about a stop sign, but I, I am, so, <laughs> so there's that. Uh, okay, we're not going up that way. We're heading down this way. Just waiting to see if autopilot will turn on for this bit. Yep, there we go. And it's keeping us at 21. And how is it going to do here? The lines go a little bit strange here, but it should it should be fine. Oh, a little bit left. But then it rethought about it and carried on straight, which is good. Keeping it low at 20 here. And then I need to actually put something in my navigation. So then the navigation should turn on. Another stop sign there, not for us, but it didn't pick it up, sadly. And uh, we are now going onto the motorway. Gonna set that up to the 70 miles an hour. And let's see how well this joins. It's asking me to hold the steering wheel, but I've got my hand on the steering wheel the whole time here. And I'm going to navigate across now. And the car has joined the motorway. Really, really nicely, no problems at all. That was really good, okay. Let's fast forward to the next junction. We're coming off in a mile now and we've just entered another construction zone. So I'm gonna see how it reacts here to some more of these kind of like tighter lanes that it seems to give us. Uh, it's actually moving slightly to the right here to get out of the way from that lorry. And then as you'll see, it tucked us back in afterwards. 
Uh, let's go into this first lane here on the left. And we're going to be taking the junction here off to Swindon. And that will be the end of our video once we've done this. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed our trip down the M25, uh, checking out that roundabout and then down the M4 as well. Oh, look at this. How's it going to deal with this? Yeah, no problem. It is asking us to change lanes. It doesn't like being close to the cones. But no, we're not going to change lanes. And the car, even it doesn't have a bother with that little line in the middle there. Um, it's following these green green dotted lines on either side, which is actually really good. So yeah, if you like the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell. Going to have loads of, loads of content coming now that we're allowed to go out and drive again. Uh, so I'm going to be able to get some more, co some more content going. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section as well. I'll be continuing our city tour uh, for sure, but I will also hopefully be doing some other bits and bobs. Okay, so, oh, it looks like they're building a, a new road or, no, I think that's just a new lay-by actually. Yeah, just a new lay-by. Uh, we're coming up behind this guy here. We're coming off in half a mile. Let's see how it deals with it. So again, yeah, even though, again, this was Ballard's a second ago, now it's cones, it is asking me to move over. So it doesn't like seeing cones, it seems. And here we come out of the construction zone. But I'm not going to speed up because we are coming off here on the left anyway in a second. So it's interesting enough, it's asking me to get into the hard shoulder, uh, which you can't do. So obviously don't do that. But it got a bit confused there, asking us to go in the hard shoulder. It's bringing us off now. It needs to pick the left lane. Yeah, it has picked the left lane. And let's see what lane it's going to pick here. Is it going to take us across and further over into the left lane or will it just keep us in this one? No, it's just kept us in this one. Uh, which will be going straight on, I think. Let's see how slowly it will slow us down to. We're coming up here to some lights anyway. And yeah, look, not stopping. So again, it, does, it doesn't stop for the lights. It doesn't stop for the lights yet here in the UK. Even though it shows them, and it's even picking up some of the bollards here as well, which is pretty cool. And then we've got the green light, orange, green, good. It showed orange, then green on here, which was nice to see. It's going to pick this arrow up on the road. Yeah, of course it is. Showing all the lights and everything. I know the car said to go left there, but I'm going to go straight on for some reason. And is it showing these arrows, guys, in the lights? Well, I'm not 100% sure because it's showing us a top-down view for some reason. <clears throat> wow, that were really quick lights, straight to orange. And then I'll put autopilot back on here. And just, I want to see how it deals with this, like, merging area really well. Look at that. Merge straight in nicely between two cars. No problems at all there. And again, so it says that the speed limit is 60 here. It's not. The speed limit is 40 here, and it's 60 there, because they've just changed it. So again, that's showing that it definitely hasn't updated the system. It definitely isn't taking the speed limits off signs or anything like that. Uh, so I don't know when they're going to activate that, but apparently, according to the user manual, it is now there, and it is just ready to be turned on. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.